but when it comes to the cola issue, many teachers don't know that for many years we haven't have a cost of living adjustment in in, in our pension system, and that, that's creating a big burden for our retirees, for example, especially now on a time like now, high inflation. Imagine if you're a retiree and and you see prices go up eight nine percent, but your paycheck is still the same. That's a pay cut. You see retirees that unfortunately have to go back to work uh, as a substitute teachers, uh, sometimes working at a grocery store to make ends meet because they 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 didn't know this reality. Some some of them didn't know that until they retire that they won't have a cost of living adjustment. And the only way it happens in Texas, the only way, the only thing that the legislature can do is they can give you a one time, if they decide to, they can vote on, and it has to be done through the legislature, by the way, they have to vote on a one time cost of living adjustment. But there, there, there is no COLA. And second, if you are, re, if I'm a, reti- a, a person thinking about retiring right now, uh, let's say that the, you know, I, I I I served the state honorably for 35 years. I'm thinking about retiring. That makes me, th- I'm thinking twice before I retire because I'm thinking about, hey, I don't have a cost of living adjustment. Inflation is still high. I might need to work one or two more years because I'm afraid that if I go, if I retire right now and inflation doesn't get under control, Basically, again, I'm taking a pay cut. So it's affecting also real life people that maybe are ready to retire. They are tired. They have done their work. They did their job. They have served our state for many years, and they are having to to they are having to decide to they are having to stay one or two more years 